Hi everyone, welcome to another capsule wardrobe video. Here I have my spring capsule, and this capsule wardrobe for me marks a bit of a turning point, new era. The last few years, both with being a new mom and also with everything happening in the world, my wardrobe has been so focused on comfort. And not that there's anything wrong with comfort, my wardrobe is still very focused on comfort and I still work from home, but I just found, especially in the last few months, we've been going out a lot more. My daughter's enrolled in activities, we've made more parent friends, I'm going to more work events and meeting up with and going out with friends more, which has been amazing. But I've just been feeling like my wardrobe is maybe leaning a little bit more casual than I'd like and I wanna kind of build it up up again still casual but not as casual as I've been the last few years I'm also really enjoying wearing my more colorful pieces and wanting to incorporate more color I don't really have a very strict palette but a more general palette and if you are actually interested in specifically about color and capsule wardrobes I'll link a video below but anyways let's jump into these pieces so first up are a couple new basics and because I've been basically living in like t-shirts, sweatpants types of outfits, I've actually been going through those the fastest. So I found that I needed another tank top, more so for summer, but I'm including it in the spring capsule because I think I'll still probably wear it to layer. And then I also wanted a more oversized t-shirt. So both of these pieces are from Colorful Standard, which makes a ton of basics in a whole variety of colors. So they're excellent if you're looking for specific colors to add to your wardrobe. So I got this ribbed tank in a very pale blue and I decided to go for this dusty reddish color in the t-shirt and this piece goes great with a bunch of the other colors I have and I really like this oversized almost more stiffer cut. A lot of the t-shirts I have like the one I'm wearing tend to be more fitted and kind of drapey so I wanted something that was the opposite that was a little boxier a bit oversized just to have some different shapes to play with. A couple more t-shirts, this just very classic black crew neck top, and then this zero waist crop top from Anne Muller, and I was really excited to pull this out of my wardrobe. It is a bit more of a summer piece, but the very cropped and boxy style is fun to wear with some of my other pieces, and they do a really great job of selecting different patterns and colors to mix, because it's all scraps, but it still goes together really nice and creates a cool color block effect. And then I also have the t-shirt that I'm wearing, which I made. Hi, so it's editing me. I'm just watching the footage and realizing that there is some little stain on the shirt. I don't know what it is, but for some reason it shows up so much darker on camera than real life. So I didn't even really notice it until I watched the footage. Anyway, sorry if that's annoying. So onto some longer sleeve tops. I've got this puff sleeve little crop top, which has been in a few capsule wardrobes. Again, it's a great spring and summer piece. And then also this white linen button up, another staple in many capsule wardrobes. Then I have both this brassy mock neck and this printed turtleneck. And some people were asking before in my winter capsule how this print held up in the wash. And it's actually been really great. Like there is a, maybe a little bit of cracking in a couple spots like sort of where places that it kind of bends a lot so like a little bit on the elbow a little bit sort of around the arm but I've also been wearing it a lot it's all hand printed and I think overall it does hold up very well because it is silk screened on a very stretchy fabric I think it is you know normal to expect a little bit of cracking but that only really happens if the fabric is really stretched out in certain spots so we'll see how it holds up over the next year or so but overall I am very happy with the print quality and then we just have my orange cotton sweater love a sweater but for spring I tend to put all my wool things away and the cotton ones are usually great for cooler spring days and then on to bottoms I of course have a pair of leggings these are my Anne Muller winter leggings they're just so comfy and cozy and great for layering our springs can be all over the place so definitely having some good layering options and warmer pieces is key and I also want to mention that these are a great example of good quality versus poor quality like viscose and rayon so these are made from a bamboo blend which is viscose and viscose and rayon can pill incredibly quickly so I was worried that these might start to pill on the inner thighs but I've been wearing these so often and there is basically no pilling so that's a really good sign that it is a very good quality fabric so I'm very pleased about that and then I also have these printed drapey pants from Tamga these are so fun they're really light and cool so great for summer 
also great for warmer spring days, and the print is always really fun to wear. So next I have these dressy sweatpants from Encircled, and I've had a pair of dressy sweatpants for years. You may notice that these ones look slightly different than the other ones I've had because these are actually their new cozy dressy sweatpants. So it's the same cut, but they've got a slightly thicker terry fabric, so they're definitely a bit of a more cozy option. The regular ones I feel like are a little bit more drapey and maybe a little dressier than these, but because I'm in Canada and it can get quite cool here, I do find their regular dressy sweats are maybe a little bit lighter light for especially for winter but oh my gosh I just love their dressy sweatpants so much I live in them this is the third pair that I've owned and yeah I also really like the navy color I don't know if you've noticed but I am trying to move away from black and go for more navies and darker grays instead of true black I just feel like it works a little bit better and then we of course also have my plaid linen pants which I made still love these still wear them a ton they're great. And then I also have these jeans, which are another new piece. These are organic cotton jeans from Made Trade. And I know I've talked before about, you know, whether I did or didn't want jeans in my wardrobe and how I've kind of like flip-flopped with that. But like I said, I did want some pieces in my wardrobe that were a little less casual. And I love the color of these jeans. I think they're gonna be so versatile. But there's two things that really sold me on these jeans versus other jeans. First of all is the fit. So it's a looser fit, it's a boyfriend style, it has a very high waist, which I really wanted. And it also is a lighter weight jean. So a lot of the other jeans I've owned were very dense, very thick. And especially with being stuck at home, I just found that I never wanted to wear them. The organic cotton is really nice and soft. And with them being a lighter weight and looser cut, they are a lot more comfortable. And then moving right along to skirts, we of course have this green linen skirt that you guys have seen time and time again in my capsules. Love it, it's so beautiful, it's so flowy. And then this skirt, I actually delayed recording this video because of this skirt. So for some background, I have been looking for a printed maxi skirt for years now, but I had a very specific color palette in mind that I wanted. I wanted something with this kind of rusty color and then also something that had blues and greens because I obviously have a lot of blues and greens in my wardrobe and something that would kind of mix those two things because honestly one of my favorite color combinations is like green and sort of a mustardy or rusty color and every printed maxi skirt I came across was either in the like blue green range or sort of in the rusty yellow range and where they did sort of mix I just couldn't find a print that I liked or just didn't seem like it was the right colors so fast forward to about a week or so ago and Tamga releases their spring collection and I saw this skirt and I knew that this was the skirt that I've been waiting for, that I've been looking for. I immediately contacted them and said, how fast can you ship this skirt? It arrived yesterday and it is so perfect and I can't wait to wear it. It has exactly the colors that I wanted. And yeah, I'm just super excited to play around with this and mix and match it into my wardrobe. So now onto dresses. I have this blue sweatshirt t-shirt dress that you guys have seen before. It's just such a fun cut. I can't wait to wear it. And it's perfect for spring because it's thicker, but still obviously a bit more springy with the short sleeves and shorter hem. This dress is a new piece in my wardrobe. This one was a bit of an impulse purchase. I made a YouTube short about it if you're interested in it and I decided to keep it. I think the print is really gorgeous and it's a really nice cut that's pretty versatile. I think it can easily be dressed up or down. And like I said, I'm going out more than I was before. So having some dresses that I can dress up are gonna be great in my wardrobe. Okay, so then I have this piece and I really debated if this should be included in my capsule wardrobe or not because it is basically an apron, but it's also a dress. And I guess I don't really know how much I'm going to wear it as a dress versus just wearing it as an apron. It's a very cool piece from Tovewear and it's made from organic and regenerative cotton. And I'm for sure gonna be getting a ton of wear from it as an apron. And we'll see if I end up styling it as an outfit as well. Then next up, we have this cotton knit dress. I love this. I wore this so much in fall and winter, and I think it's also gonna be good for spring, as long as we have our typical kind of cooler springs, which we usually do. And then I have this short sleeve linen dress. Now, I usually don't care about things like spring colors, fall colors, that kind of stuff. I just wear whatever colors I want. But does this color not just scream spring? 
It's so cute and has this beautiful skirt and I'm very excited to wear it. Then I've also got my linen Sonde de Flor wrap dress, which you guys have seen a ton. And I've pulled out my linen jumpsuit. Also very excited to wear this. It actually surprised me in fall how well this worked with pieces layered underneath. So I'm looking forward to that again. All right, and then onto cardigans and layers. I have this cropped blue cotton cardigan. Also love this piece, have been wearing it a ton. And this old thing, this beige long cardigan, which has been in my capsule wardrobes since I started doing capsule wardrobe. So we're looking at like almost nine years now. This maybe is my longest owned piece at this point. I can't think of anything else. But anyways, it's cotton, it's versatile. You've seen it a lot, <laughs> we'll move on. And then this rusty Eileen Fisher cardigan, which you guys have also seen a lot. All right, and then for spring outerwear, I would say I am being very optimistic. We might still get a big dump of snow and I will still have to wear my winter coat, but I'm hoping that we'll have a very nice spring. So I've got this oversized dead stock lightweight wool coat and then just a raincoat, which I got secondhand. So those are all the pieces in my spring capsule wardrobe. And like I said earlier, I do feel like this wardrobe marks a little bit of a shift from being just so much at home and in super comfy clothes to, I guess, dressing up a bit more. So that's something I'm really looking forward to in this new season. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my pieces. I always love hearing your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.